What's going on there guys, it's your boy Chris, and don't you believe for a second that I think Black Ops 2 sucks. Frankly, it's probably one of the best Call of Duties I've played since COD 4, but it does have its problems. So, without further ado, we're going to get into our video. Now in a second what you're going to see is me frantically searching for any of the 30 plus uh, games that I've played in the last three days. Um, and spoiler alert, I'm not going to find any of them. Yeah, uh, I guess we've all come used to this problem at this point, and you don't hear so much about it, but it's definitely an issue. Um, I play on PlayStation 3, and I don't know if it's a problem that's affecting the Xbox community at this point, but it, it definitely is a problem to me. Um, at the end of this clip, you'll see that I'm rendering a video. Keep that in mind. So, if you follow YouTube and any of the larger commentators, you know, the uh, half million plus commentators, you'll see that there is a general opinion that theater mode should be taken out of the Call of Duty series at least until the next generation of consoles come out. Um, there's a theory that theater mode is what is creating the lag issues and is not allowing the lag compensator to work properly. I don't know if that's true. Um, it doesn't affect me because I have capture software. It doesn't affect most of the guys you see on YouTube because they have capture software. And what we do is we record every single game at this point. But there is a population that does affect, um, you know, the general game player that enjoys the benefits of having theater mode or have become accustomed to having theater mode. Um, and it also affects the montage makers uh, because they rely on having that third person perspective and dolly cam uh, that you've come to see in montages now for the last two to three years. I'm going to pause the video for a second and talk. When patch 1.4 came out on December 8th, everybody was applauding Treyarch. Um, Treyarch is the greatest. Treyarch listens to the community. Treyarch is so quick to fix all the problems. Well, I'm sitting here a month later telling you one of the problems that was addressed in patch 1.4 simply doesn't work. Uh, it was never fixed and I, you can call it a branding thing um, people believe in brands some people will swear by Treyarch some people will swear by Infinity Ward um, you know and that's just how it is that's how it's gonna be for a long time uh, people say that Modern Warfare 3 sucked people say Black Ops 2 sucks uh, I think everybody agrees that Modern Warfare 2 sucked. <laughs> Just kidding. But, you know, I mean, both companies have their pluses and minuses. And I have to say, uh, Infinity Ward did do a very good job of keeping up with the community and keeping up with their product the, during the lifespan of Modern Warfare 3. So, I'm going to end, or uh, I'm going to restart this video in a second. Um, and the second part of this, I think you're going to find very interesting. So I had to do some important behind the scenes stuff like pour a cup of coffee and light a cigarette. And uh, I figured before I left Black Ops and changed microphones, I'd take a quick look at my uh, barracks, my combat record. And it really sucks. <laughs> um, I must fool around an awful lot. But I gotta switch microphones real quick, so hang in there. So here I am, I'm back, and uh, I'm taking you along for my ride here. Um, first thing we're gonna check out, all right, that video I just rendered, here it is, it's right here. Here's a beautiful Clarice um, with a big arrow on her face. But uh, yeah, you know, Video is rendered well, 
but now we're going to go take a look at Elite. And here I am at Elite, uh, checking out my stats. And alright, well, they seem to correlate with the stats on Black Ops 2. Um, at the same time, the last gameplay that was recorded by Black Ops 2 is here. Uh, let's see if I can find any others. No, doesn't seem to let me get any of the uh, 30 plus games that uh, I played since then. But, alright. So far everything seems good, but I don't know. This number is still bothering me a little bit. You know? It, it, something seems strange. I mean, if none of my games are being recorded, are my stats being recorded? I don't know. So let's look at the weapon performance. Alright, so I only just started using the ballista this morning, actually. So that seems to be correct. I can't really argue that. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I don't use a regular gun, ever. Uh, secondaries. Uh, Alright, there's my uh, pistol um, that I use. Uh, I think I used, what the executioner I used once. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, seems uh, yeah, that seems about right. That's a that's a good kill ratio there. Let's take a look here. My tomahawks. All right, they seem right too. Um, this number 17. I don't know. Seems a little bit low. Uh, but I can't really argue it at the moment. Oh, all right. I've been killed by a shock charge, and I've been killed by a concussion grenade. Uh, Alright. I'll believe it. Score streaks. Oh, wait a second. Where are all my score streaks? Hmm. All the Hellstorm missiles I've used. Funny, all the war machines. Death machine? Zero? Oh, wait, where, where, where's... I'm not a big uh, user of these higher kill streaks, but Dragonfire zero? Something's not right here. Hmm. It doesn't tell me how many kills I've been killed by him either. <sighs> Something skewed here. All right. Let's take a look at the challenges real quick. Um, primary weapons. We'll just stick with the. Uh, DSR-50 because I prestiged that twice and leveled it up completely um done 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 alright that seems about right um, I don't know I need what oh, it says done right yeah okay right, reach maximum we weapon level at weapon prestige 2 well, I've done that and it's not recorded here not the worst thing in the world because at this point I've decided not to prestige um, so maybe that's what it is maybe these three are only after you prestige we'll benefit of doubt we'll leave it at that but I, I don't know um, something still doesn't seem right so alright that kill death ratio is bothering me well, it bothered me so much that I actually went in and calculated my own kill death ratio, which in my case is kind of easy because I don't use a whole lot of weapons. And I haven't really been killed that many times either. Wait, I haven't been killed that many times either. But I only got 80 uh, 8 86 KD. No, something ain't right. Well, I'm going to save you the benefit of doing a lot of math, um, or sitting here watching me do a lot of math. I've been killed 1,325 times. Um, based on the stats that the Elite and the actual Black Ops 2 game itself are giving me, I've killed 300... 3,412 people. Now, actually, after I did the math going through all the weapons, um, I actually only came up with 3,400, uh, 
3,410 kills, but, you know, I'll give it, alright, a plus or minus of a point zero two. Uh, I'm not a math whiz, I ain't no drifter here, so you gotta bear with me. So, simple math, you know, calculator here, plugged in 3,410, or no, 12, I went 3,412, and then I took my deaths, which were 1,325, and I divided them, and I came up with a, a 2.575 kill ratio. Whoa, wait a second. Now, I, I realize that, you know, I don't, I'm not one to keep track of my KD or even let it bother me. But that seems like a big jump right there, huh? Hmm. So now, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm a little upset because, not that I'm being cheated on my KD, because, again, I don't really care about my KD, but I'm being cheated as a consumer. I bought something at this point now, two months ago. I expect it to work. It still doesn't work properly. So, I feel like I've gone through all the right channels. Go put post on the forums, post at the support page, Activision support page. Um, I put in numerous requests to see if, you know, A, they'd fix some of the bugs with Elite, and B, if they have any intentions of releasing another patch for, to repair theater mode at this point, or if they even acknowledge that there is a problem with Elite or theater mode at this point. And I haven't heard anything back. Or when I do hear anything back, I get a standard message saying, thank you for your comment. Your information is valuable to us. Hmm. Okay. And at this point, I've also tweeted out to David Vonderhart on a couple of occasions whether or not theater mode, uh, if there's a patch in the works for theater mode, or if they're even acknowledging that theater mode is not working properly. So, that's my commentary for today. Just something to think about. Again, I really love Black Ops too. I think it, I haven't had this much time, fun in a long time on Black Ops 2. But, I just wanted to bring to attention what has been bothering me. And if you feel, you know, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or on YouTube, you'll know that this elite and theater mode have both been bothering me for a while now. Thank you for your time, and you have a good day. By clicking on the screen, uh, it'll take you directly to my channel. From there, you could uh, join the clan, subscribe, or get in touch with me in a million different ways. Thank you for watching, and you have a good day.